Hey everybody, it's Aaron Heller from uh, On Scene Training Associates. Um, so many times I've talked about perseverance in the fire service and what it means to me and what it means to the fire service in general and, and how important I feel it is for our members to have a, a strong feeling of it and, and to really truly persevere to make good things happen for themselves even when it doesn't look like it can be done. Uh, I came to work this morning, got to the firehouse, I was a little down, wasn't one of my favorite days, Things, lots of stuff been going on at home and everything around. And uh, to me, the firehouse is my respite. Some people get theirs by you know, going out and working on their antique cars and trucks or, or playing music or uh, you know, tinkering around and doing hobbies that they may have. Uh, for some, it's, it's sitting at the beach and reading a good book, which I wouldn't mind doing some days. But uh, for me, it's always been getting to the firehouse, and, and that's kind of been a good place for me to make sure that my mind is clear and, and I'm focused on what I need to do. So this morning, coming in here, getting my checks done, getting my gear on the rig, getting everything accomplished that we need to, talking about what the day holds, uh, all good. And um, I was scrolling through some social media and saw a firefighter who made this remarkable transformation. Lost over 100 pounds, got in shape, got on the job, uh, and seems to be living a really, really great life and, and making such a difference uh, for herself. And uh, I wrote a compliment and just said, you know, that that's perseverance, that's what it's all about. And uh, that firefighter came back to me and reached out and I didn't know that I had even met this firefighter in my career. I, I The name was familiar, but that was it. And you know, when you're training and when you're traveling all over the world, you, you do meet a lot of people and sometimes it starts to blend and you forget conversations here and there. So um, that happens. So this firefighter told me that, that unbeknownst to me, um, we had a conversation at a conference and she was a volunteer firefighter at the time and, and didn't even really consider the fact that becoming a career firefighter was an option. And apparently that was the conversation we'd, we'd had and, and I told her that it was certainly an option and, and um, that there were good things in, in store if you just follow and you persevere. Um, and she has and now is on the job, has done all these things and obviously not because of me but simply because maybe somebody else gave a little push, you know, or gave a little insight into something. So it falls back to perseverance and what we do and how we do it. And I believe so strongly in the fact that we can, as instructors and as firefighters and officers and leaders in our community and whatever we're doing in our jobs, wherever we may work in our, in our full-time job or our, or our volunteer fire department, whatever it may be, we have that ability to make such a change and such a, an influence just by what we do. And the one thing that this firefighter told me was, and I quote, you have the power to influence people in so many ways as an instructor. Someone is always watching. Well, goddamn, somebody was watching that day and somebody is always watching. And uh, I always thought that when my dad told me, hey, be careful what you do because somebody's watching you, it was either God or the neighbors in case I screwed up and was, you know, going to get my butt kicked when I got home. But, uh, you know, in our business, someone is always watching. And whether it be the little kid in a, in a poor neighborhood that sees that fire truck pull up and sees you as their hero. Maybe it's the, it's the person who just needs that word of confidence from you. Maybe it's the soothing words you can give somebody whose family member is, is your patient on an EMS call that doesn't look good. Whatever the case may be, you have that ability. And no matter how bad your day is going, you can make somebody else's better. Those are a few words I got for you today. I think it's important. And again, make the push. Do what you need to do to be a better firefighter, be a better person, be a better influence on, on those around you. And again, we just never know who's watching. Take care, everybody. Be safe.